All right, here's the video, walk around video of the 1996 300ZX twin turbo commemorative edition, number 271 out of the last 300 made. Totally stock with the exception of the stereo and the shifter boot and knob. Ultra red. So pointing out the flaws, see the uh, window trim here is faded and the top, these are faded as well in color. These are still all functional. So, there is one ding on this side of significance and various chips. Tiny little chip there, chip there. Cars has 115,000 miles on it. There's actually a lot of chips in it from rocks and things like that. But otherwise, no damage or clear coat peeling, none of that stuff. That is the stock spoiler that came on the 96s. There are some scratches in the paint. I'm going to get it shaded. Not shaded. Bumper paint still looks good on the rear. Let's see, this is a pretty bad ding right here. Somebody got me pretty good with the door, I think. And then right here, these are where something right down the side, previous owner. Those are all chips right there. Got the original commemorative edition stickers still on the car. You do not see many of these. Remember, there's only 300 of these made. And of those 300, 78 of them were twin turbos. The rest were normally aspirated. And of the 78, I don't know how many of those were uh, five speed, which this one is. So we've got some paint. Looks like somebody buffed too hard on the mirror. Otherwise, looks good. And then right here, this one I take full responsibility for my daughter. That's from a door. Dang, it's pretty. Made me sad, but it happens. You own cars, you know that. Inspection sticker's good through 221. Just had it inspected. Did pass emissions, of course. And the hood bumper and on the hood there's a myriad of chips scratches what you would expect from a red car 1996 a lot of little stone chips in here there's one here and here where apparently something got on the paint and has it needs to be you know apply some touch up to it but that's not a mark that's going to come out that's in the paint otherwise Completely unmodified, in excellent condition for being a 96. I'm the second owner. First owner had it for a very, very long time. Interior, all in great shape. Take these sunshades out. Leather on the steering wheel still looks really good. There's a couple of scrapes on it. Dash is in immaculate condition. Everything works on the car. No damage history on the Carfax. No wrecks, no accidents. The uh, stock adjustable suspension works as advertised, so does the high cast four wheel steering. Still has the stock uh, sunshade there. And these bags are the original sunroof bags that came with the car. 
underneath there is the original spare tire with the original air canister, which is also unusual to have. Never been used. Here's the one area modification. It does have a aftermarket stereo. Still has the stock Bose speakers, which work. You can see the Bose. There is the commemorative edition tag. I also have the lithograph and the uh, picture that comes with the car and the letter of documentation. This is the aftermarket part. Okay, so aftermarket knob, boot, boot. I have this boot, the parking brake boot, and this boot. The original ones, I do not have the original knob. 115,000 miles, this is a cold start. Let me move the seat. AC works like it's supposed to. Cools great. You can see the boost gauge on the left here is pointing to what it should have for perfect vacuum. When at idle, shows there are no vacuum leaks in the car. Oil pressure is showing high, uh, not high, but as it's supposed to be. Uh, stock oil pressure gauges go bad often, not the gauges, but the sending unit. So that's nice to see that this one works as it's supposed to. And my next video is going to be a driving video.